You have a budget of $1,000 and you're looking to build a kick-ass gaming PC that can also stream on the side. Well friend, you have found the perfect video. Let me take you through the best components and why. Starting with your CPU, I recommend the Ryzen 5 3600, a fantastic does it all CPU with six cores and 12 threads that even comes with a cooler. You could also consider the Ryzen 5 5600X if you have a slightly higher budget and you can find one, or the 2600 if you have slightly less budget and need to save some cash. Great thing about all of these CPUs is that they are all compatible with the same motherboard for which I recommend the MSI B55M Pro VDH Wi-Fi Micro ATX motherboard. It's feature rich for the price, it gets the job done without breaking the bank, supports M.2, has the right amount of RAM slots and even has built-in Wi-Fi. For RAM, I have here 32 gig of Corsair Vengeance LPX 16 gigabytes, 3200 MHz CL16 RAM. The CL or CAS part of the RAM is important. You want nice low latency stuff. CL or CAS18 or under is ideal. As for speeds, 3600 MHz is the bee's knees if you have a little extra cash, but 3200 MHz is fantastic too when keeping to a budget. We've gone with 32 gigabytes because we want to have more headway with creative work like streaming and video rendering. However, you can get away with 16 gigabytes with little to no impact on gaming if say you want to buy slightly more expensive RAM now and then double the capacity later down the line. Storage is nice and easy. We have a one terabyte, 2.5 inch SATA SSD. You don't have to go too crazy here, just enough to install our games and main programs. This can be easily upgraded in the future. Now for the fun stuff. The graphics card I have chosen is the GTX 1660 Ti. The reason I've picked this particular card is because the built-in NFENC encoder allows streaming with little to no impact on games. If you're just looking for gaming though, for the same price you can get better performance by going for something like the 5600 XT from AMD. The case is the Fantec P300A, a well-reviewed and plenty good enough case. There's not much to say here, but it is a flexible option. You can pretty much just go with whatever you like. Just make sure it's the right size. For the PSU, I have chosen a semi-modular 600 watt from Be Quiet. You could run on something as low as 500, but I always go for more so you have a bit more headroom and also upgrade paths. Try to stick with a well-known brand. The last thing you want is some cheap PSU frying your components. And there you have it. It's a system more than capable of 144Hz at 1080p for most esports games, even while streaming. And if you found this helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this and check out some of my other videos here. And until next time, peace out.